Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by today. As you can see, this is the final part of my walk around Stanley Park video. It's getting dark now, but we are on the last leg. See the tower there? I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Not too much. There you go, you can see that full tower. That's a better view than the little tip I showed you in the other part. So the Buckle Tower is that way, but we are going to head along this way, down North Park Drive, along the side of the park and home. It's definitely getting darker now, but it's a short walk and just going straight down here. And the wind is blowing right into my face now, so that means that we're blowing right into the microphone. So you're going to be hearing a lot of wind noise. So I'm sorry about that, but there's not a lot I can do about it. park across there. Maybe tomorrow I'll do a video walking through Stanley Park. I do Selsby Woodlands and maybe just go back to the hospital and see if there's any demolition going on. Some firms do work on Saturdays but some also don't work on Saturdays. But if I'm going down there to film Selsby Woodlands but I'm going to take someone with me when I do that. When I'm going into places now, like that, it's definitely going to feel like a little bit on my own or vulnerable. I will take my partner with me or my son with me. I'll take someone with me. Look at that wind, everybody. The wind's definitely getting up. Sorry about that folks, I just <laughs> made myself jump then. Just past me. And in other news, as I was just about to say, I bought myself a couple of books off eBay. Kids annuals. Because when I was younger I used to collect the girls annuals. Don't know, you've probably heard of them, like Ginty, Misty, Mandy, Judy, Bunty. My grandma used to buy me a Bunty annual every Christmas. My sister always got a Rupert annual. Oh, and Rupert always creeped me out. What was that? There was one character in Rupert the bear that I always used to... Oh, I found really creepy. I can't remember the name of it. But yeah, one, one Rupert the bear character was super creepy, at least in my eyes. But anyway, I used to have an absolute load of annuals and I kept them right past my teens and into my early 20s and I had about 90 of them all old man, this Judas, Buntis, Gintis, Mistis and I'd been out one day with my daughter and I came in and my mum was like oh guess what I get rid of today and I'm like oh what do you get rid of? She said oh I got rid of the, that pile of old books in your room and I was like what? and yeah she'd given all my annuals away just to some dude she knew who ran a market stall because she used to go with my mum and chat and gossip to people in various shops and stalls and she noticed this particular person was selling books and annuals on the stall and she was like, oh I can get one well over those for free, do you want to buy one then? And obviously he was, yeah sure, if you can get them for free and yeah she gave all my books away so I saw these two annuals on eBay, two ginty annuals, and the covers seemed really familiar to me. And whilst I can't remember every single story that was in them, I do recall from the covers that they were two of my favourites. 
so yeah I did treat myself to those annuals they weren't really dear one was five pound with free postage and one was five pound fifty with free postage so I don't feel too bad about spending money on myself for stuff like that just get a little piece of my childhood back because I am nostalgic like that sometimes and I've also got quite a few reprints over the last couple of years because Rebellion are doing a reprint of a lot of old stories from those girls comics of 70s and 80s so I've bought quite a few of them and I might show them in a video I mean I'm not going to do anything like scan the pages and upload them so people can read them because you know copyright and I don't agree with just me making content from other people's hard work but I will like show you the covers and talk about the stories if anybody would be interested in that I'm still thinking of different stuff to do over the weekends so just yeah, let me know if you're interested in anything like that old comics I can kind of hear a resounding no resonating from the YouTube community but that's cool if you're not interested if I do decide to do different stuff on my channel the different stuff will either only be on a Sunday or it will only be on a Saturday and Sunday so if you're only here for the Blackpool videos they're just going to carry on as normal Monday to Friday because it will always be primarily a Blackpool channel so even if I decide to put different stuff up it won't be up Monday to Friday that will still be just for Blackpool for vlogs, videos, streets, the beach, the sand, the sea, the piers, the attractions, the streets and anything you guys want to see because I do try my best to fulfil requests oh man look how dark it's got really weird because I'm walking down here and I'm not really paying attention to it getting dark and it's like I'm talking to you guys and suddenly I look up and I think wow it's suddenly got dark but because I'm talking to you it doesn't really feel like I'm walking down here on my own it just kind of feels like we're all walking together and I do know that I kind of saw the fist perimeter walk sort of on the cusp of the corner of turning around at the end but I am going to end it kind of near the sports centre and the roundabout because that will be my turn off for going home and I don't really want to walk down the other side of the park again now when it's sort of really secluded and quiet when it's this dark so I'll really just be walking towards the roundabout and then I'll be turning off to go home Oh it's super duper dark now folks, look at that There's a the gate to the sports centre. Around this time last year, maybe last April, I was working in the food bank in the sports centre. We're just packing thousands of school meals and hampers and various other food packages and stuff like that. There's uh, Stanley Park there. Darkness now. Park's empty. And closed. In total darkness. And I can't.
kind of did start the perimeter walk around just at the end of the road there as it turns around but I'm going up here I'm gonna head on home this is Ken Kenwin Avenue So let's just head up here on the way home. Oh, this wind. I'm not really bothered about the wind. It's not even that strong, but it's just I'm thinking of the noise factor. Because I know you'll hear it in the video. But I think the wind noise is part of my charm. Well, I think I'll actually end this video here because you've seen me walk all the way around Stanley Park and it's dark and I'm fairly tired so I'm going to just say once again thank you so much for watching please hit the like button and please subscribe maybe even drop a comment as well and I will see you all very shortly in the next video goodbye